Welcome to the Midlife Reinvention Podcast. I'm your host, Kavita, and the founder of Power Purpose Play, a global community of women in midlife. I'm here to tell you that it's your time now to rediscover what has always been inside of you and bring that out into the world. If you're wondering what's next, but don't know quite what that is, Or if you feel a twinge in your heart telling you that you have so much more to do and so much more to offer, you're in the right place. Ask yourself, if not now, when? Do you want to leave your job? Start your own business? Take control of your health? Reignite the passion in your marriage? Write that book, or at least that first chapter? Transitions like this can be daunting, but through listening to my story and interviews with incredible women every week, I hope to inspire you to take action. I rediscovered myself after the age of 50, and I know you can too. It's my time now to help you do just that. I'm so excited you're here. Let's dive in. Hi, my friend, and thank you for tuning in to the Midlife Reinvention Podcast. I don't take it lightly that you're here. It means a lot to me that you're taking your time out for your own personal growth and to support this podcast. So I just had some thoughts today that I thought I'd share with you. Firstly, to all my American friends, I wish you a wonderful Thanksgiving holiday. It really is a beautiful holiday when we take our time to reflect on all that we are thankful for and to spend time with family and friends. I wasn't exactly sure what the origins of Thanksgiving is and why Americans celebrate it. And so I did a little bit of digging and I found out that it originated in 1621 when the Plymouth colonists from England and the Native American Wampanoag people shared an autumn harvest feast that is really acknowledged as one of the first Thanksgiving celebrations in the colonies. And for more than two centuries after that, Days of Thanksgiving were celebrated by individual colonies and states. So I found that interesting. And I also love how all these different holidays and festivals seem to be around the same time of year. We recently, for example, celebrated the festival of Diwali. And I shared in in a recent post that what is the meaning of Diwali really? And for those of you who aren't aware, I'll share it here. Diwali, or the Festival of Lights, is one of the most important festivals celebrated by Indians throughout the world, and it is based on one of the greatest spiritual epics of all time called the Ramayana, and it has relevant messages that we can apply into our own lives. At its core, Diwali represents every person's struggle to really know themselves. It is really the struggle between our ego and our divine light. It describes a physical battle between Lord Ram, who represents our highest self, and the demon Ravan, who represents our ego. Interestingly, we celebrate the Vali on the darkest night of the year to remind ourselves to let our own inner light shine through as bright as possible so that we can also become a beacon of light and help those who are still in darkness. If I think about it, this is really the essence of what I do, helping people to allow their inner light to shine through. And to that end, it reminds me of a session, a recent session I had with a client about how she wasn't really allowing her inner light to shine through and how she she came to me and asked how she can achieve a state of positivity or alignment, especially when she was experiencing a stress and she was worried about a particular task or project that she really had to complete. And the stress was causing her to procrastinate and to really spiral into a state of even more worry and confusion. So what should she do? I advised her and I'm, I'm sharing with you as well, in, in case you ever have the situations is that The best way to deal with this is really to acknowledge the type of emotion you are feeling. Is it a positive or a negative emotion? If we have emotions of stress or anger or let's say frustration or guilt, these emotions build up catabolic 
or negative energy around us. It is very difficult in this catabolic energy state to be productive or creative or to get the job done or to work effectively with others. Instead, it's best to reach for a slightly better feeling emotion, which has more positive energy. So what are some better feeling emotions? Maybe forgiveness, compassion, happiness, gratitude. When we reach for a slightly better feeling emotion, we then become more aligned with ourselves and experience less resistance, which allows us to work with more inspired action. But how do we practically do this? We've all heard about gratitude jars or writing down three things you are grateful for every day. Especially on this Thanksgiving holiday, we often think about those things we are thankful or grateful for. I'd like to turn that on its head a bit, though, and rather ask you to think of the emotion of appreciation versus the attitude of gratitude. What's the difference? There is a different vibration between gratitude and appreciation. When you feel gratitude, often you are looking at a struggle that you've overcome and feeling grateful or happy that you are still not in that struggle, but you're still messing with that vibration. For example, when you are feeling bad, have you ever received advice from a close family member or friend that goes something like this? You should feel very grateful for everything you have. How does that statement make you feel? For me, it doesn't make me feel better. In fact, it makes me feel slightly worse because then I feel guilty that I wasn't feeling grateful. If I tell myself, for example, that I should feel grateful for the money I have, then that makes me feel like I didn't deserve the money in the first place. How does that resonate with you? If, however, we turn our minds to appreciation, there is a completely different energy surrounding it. So if we go back to that moment when you have a deadline or a project that you're really stressed about, what if you stepped away from that negative emotion of stress and took some time to appreciate small things around you? Let's say you went for a walk. Breathe deeply, feel the Christmas of the air, hear the sounds of the birds, and smell the fresh air you are inhaling. Appreciate that that is available to you at any time. When you do that, you slowly begin to release the momentum of negative energy and move to a more positive state. So what really is the difference between appreciation and gratitude? Appreciation is focused on the present moment. You can admire a breathtaking sunset or acknowledge the hard work of a colleague. And either way, you move towards a positive forward momentum. Gratitude, on the other hand, often involves reflecting on past events and recognizing the roles of others in our lives. It's a retrospective emotion that looks back with a sense of indebtedness. Appreciation is inherently positive and free from any feelings of unworthiness or indebtedness. It's an emotion that makes us feel lighter and brighter and more connected to the world around us. Gratitude, on the other hand, often revolves around the notion that we have received things that we didn't earn or deserve. This element of unearned blessings distinguishes it from appreciation. So really, appreciation emphasizes the present and the beauty in our surroundings, while gratitude often centers on past events and acknowledging when we receive unearned blessings. I believe they both have their place, but when we are trying to help tap into our true essence and our inner light, it is appreciation that has a more positive vibration. It allows for that positive flow of energy, which enables creativity and inspired action. So the next time you're feeling stressed or worried or unhappy, bring out your appreciation jar and you will see how much more positive you will feel. Maybe as you're celebrating this Thanksgiving holiday, play a little game. Ask everyone to contribute one thing to an appreciation jar. 
and see how much more positive everyone will feel. So whether you're celebrating a particular holiday or not, I ask you, how are you allowing your inner light to shine through? To celebrate this wonderful season of appreciation, I am very pleased to offer you a very special treat. If you're a loyal listener or a new one, I'm pleased to share that we have completely revamped our independent study program called It's My Time Now, Rediscovering Yourself Through Career and Life Transitions. This is a comprehensive online program which will help you reconnect with your passions and find your true purpose. If you are craving more fulfillment and happiness in your life, but you really don't believe you can have it, I'm here to tell you that you absolutely can. What if I told you that you can have a fulfilling and successful career which aligns with your strengths, your passions, and your values? That you can face your fears and gain the confidence to make this next chapter in your life the best chapter yet? Your story does not have to remain the same, my friend. By following the step-by-step process in its My Time Now independent study program, you will develop the clarity to understand who you are, what you truly want, and how to get there. You will dig deeper into the answers that are within you and that you may have never taken the time to uncover yourself. It does demand honesty, but if you do commit, I will tell you, your life will change. So for being a loyal listener, I am offering this program to you at 50% off the regular investment. Starting at midnight on Friday, November 24th, till midnight on Friday, December 1st, I'm offering this program to you at the low rate of $249. This process proven through my own personal journey and guiding countless others, will lead you to a plan for your career and life, more fulfillment, more happiness, and more success than you can currently fathom. And in a much shorter time frame than you'd achieve alone. So the It's My Time Now independent study program includes seven modules and 27 lessons, comprehensive downloadable tools and exercises for a personalized journal, insightful videos, and a step-by-step process which follows the pyramid of reinvention to offer you clarity on your next steps. This is an independent study program to work through at your own pace, and you will have lifetime access to the curriculum. Again, if you enroll between midnight on Friday, November 24th, till midnight on Friday, December 1st, you will also receive a complimentary one-hour coaching session with me, all at the low rate of $249. Rates go up after this, so I ask you, my friend, what are you waiting for? When will you finally prioritize yourself? When are you going to acknowledge that the current path you're on may not be working? And when are you going to face your obstacles and gain confidence in yourself to take your next steps? Say it with confidence, my friend. It's my time now. I'd love you to take me up on this offer because I really want you to start the new year with confidence and clarity. Remember, if not now, when? To purchase the independent study program, it's my time now at 50% off our regular rate. Go to itsmytimenowcoaching.com slash Black Friday and type in the code BFCM23, as in Black Friday, Cyber Monday 23. That is B as in Bob, FCM23 to receive 50% off the regular rate. Remember, you'll also receive one free hour of coaching with me once you enroll. The links are also in the show notes, but again, please go to itsmytimenowcoaching.com slash Black Friday and type in the code BFCM23. Thanks so much for listening. And again, happy Thanksgiving to you and your family. 
even if you don't celebrate, appreciate that all the wonderful life this wonderful life has to offer for you, even the very little things. Thanks for listening. Stay well and stay safe. <laughs>